Hello guys, welcome to my first tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a simple and cool audio visualizer. We start by adding a cycle, shift A, go to the mesh and click cycle. Then rotate on X axis by 90 degree. Click number pad 1 to go on front view and scale just a little bit. And click tab to go on edit mode. Go on select and click check and select. Click S to scale down select the red text. Then click A to select O again and E to exclude then S to scale down ex excluded vertex click A to select O and right click to subdivide so click down to back in object mode so now we need to add a cube Shift A and add a cube. A cube. Click S to scale down. Just like that. Click D to move out to here. And Shift D to duplicate. So, these two cubes will be as collection for our particle system of our cycle. So, we need to add the material for this two cube. Go in material properties, click new, and add a mesh. Set its strength to be five, and you can choose your color which you want. Me, I'm choosing orange. And next cube, you can go and copy that material. Click this to set as a new material. And you can change different kind color. So now let's go back to our cycle. We need to add the particle system for our cycle. So go properties, click plus to add a new particle. And choose air and nab advance and set number of particle B1. So, and go in the source, click vectors in another random order. So, another thing we want to finish go on liner, click collection. So, in on the instance collection choose collection number one so collection number one is these two cubes so it appear in our site you can scale just a little bit in order to look better like that so another need to to enable on land setting on land properties enable amber collision Bloom and spleen space reflections and motion blue and click Z and render you will see nice circle. So now we need it to back sound so we need it to add a shape keys so we start with cube click one of the cube go on object data properties on shape key click plus twice to get key one on a var cube click i to add a key then next cube add a also shape key on a value, click I, 
Then on our scroll to add the shape key, select cycle and go on update data properties. On a shape key, we need to add two shape keys. Go to one, add the basis, and click to add the key one. And click again to add the key two. So select key one and on a value, click add to add the key four. And select key two. On the bar, click I to add key frames. So now we need to make some two cubes. So select one of the cubes and open graph editor. And on a graph editor, select the value key one and go on key. Choose make sound from FK. Now you can choose your song which you want. For me, I'm choosing my song and lowest frequency set filter and is frequency to unbed now you can bake sound so after bake that cube we need to go on edit mode click tab and click s to scale up to e and when you play this go on time and then play you will see it play as frequency of our song so we go on next cube and on a key go on a key and back sound from fk choose the same song and set frequency lowest frequency to be 200 and highest frequency 400 now back sound so go and edit mode Click tab and scale just like that. Now, when you go again on timeline and play, you'll see that Q play as frequency of song. So we need to add a song. Go on video sequencer and choose the same song go add it and click sound and choose the song that we have badly on our cycle i decrease volume see and now when we play you'll see that effect after finish bake two cubes we need to bake our cycle so go back on frame number one make sure you are in frame number one on timeline and select cycle and go back on the graph editor expand to see this value key one and key two select key one and go on a key choose back sound from fk choose the same song and change the frequency change frequency lowest frequency to be 50 and highest frequency to be 200 and back sound from fk after finish back value key one we need to go on edit mode so click tab, go in edit mode. So now we need to select this middle two vectors. So click C to get free select and we start select this slim middle. Select this slim middle just like this. Just like this, this we need a vertex. After finish. 
you can scale out click S to scale out just like that then when you press you will see it is coming out so go back on frame number one so we need to go on value key value key 2 click value key 2 and make sure on the shape key click key 2 now we need to make a sound go on a key and choose back sound from fk choose the same sound and for this we set lowest frequency to be 50 and highest frequency to be 200 and now back so after baking you'll see it back now after baking go on edit mode click tab now we need to select these five vectors on upside so click C to get fully select and start select these five vectors just like that So after finished selected we need it to scale down just like that and click tab to back on edit mode. So when you go and now we need it to add a capilla. Shift A and click camera to add. So control Art plus zero to go on zero point to set the camera on zero point. Click G to set the camera to move the camera from set your camera in good position. So when you go and land, you will see you are you are psycho. So make sure this two group you move out of camera we don't know it when we land so another thing we need to add a plane shift A so this plane will be as reflective surface of our our cycle so move down just like that and you can scale just a little bit now when you go and land again you will see it will reflect on downside so you can move up just closer just like that so you need it to add material of uh, that spray go on material shading and add on the base card set as black car and on roughness set roughness 0 0.3 and then now we see it reflect nice so now we need to fix this too much glowing too much glowing light so we need to fix this by going on the world and on a volume click none and uh, and change to mix shader on shader one 
select the volume absorption and shader two select the volume scatter so we you now you will not see other thing you see a dark you know we need it to set a density so I'll go on the density and it decrease the value by let's change the value to be 0 0.1 and also on the volume scatter change the density to be 0 0.1 so now you see we decrease that too much so we need to squeeze this two cube out don't need it on right now so now we uh, get a good light so another thing we need to add constraints color so go on blender properties on color management set value on look change now to be very high constraints quick is constant now you get good and nice color now we need to add a keyframe on the rotation so quick easy to back on the cell review then set end frame to be 1000 and go back on frame 1 select the cycle click n we need to add a keyframe on y axis on y rotation so set the y rotation b0 and make sure you are in frame 1 and add a keyframe click i and add a keyframe then jump on end frame set y rotation b 3 60 and click i to add a keyframe go on the timeline click t on the keyboard change constant to be a linear now we can lend our animation thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe for more videos